welcome to the Wincy Co Workshop, where kids have fun and parents learn tips to make scholars out of their little ones. That's you guys, your scholars. What's that? What's a scholar? A scholar is someone who works really hard to do well or learn a lot about a particular subject, thing, or topic. So thanks for joining me here at the Wincy Co. Workshop. Miss Wincy's here, so let's have a good time. Learn and explore to see what we can find. Fun and games leading the way to make it a great day. Miss Wincy's here, so let's have a good time. Learn and explore to see what we can find. Fun and games leading the way to make it a great day. My name is Miss Wincy. Can you say it? Miss Win C. Can you clap it? Miss Win C. Can you snap it? Miss Win C. Can you stomp it? Miss Win C. Good job. And I have a question for you. Who remembers what we did first? That's right. We clapped it. Can you tell me? How many times we clapped for Miss Win C? Parents, this activity supports mental math. Hmm, I hear all kinds of numbers out there. I hear 10, I hear two, I hear one, hmm, I hear five. Let's see, let's prove it. Mathematicians always prove their work. Who likes math? I know I do. Parents, do you like math? Yes, you do, parents. Raise your hands right now. Be a good example. Yes, yeah, see, your parents love math, too. We need math for everything. You can't go to the store with that, without math. Who likes to go to the store? I know I do. Well, you can't buy things without math because you won't know how much money you need. Who knows how old they are? That's right. You can't know how old you are without math because you're Age is a number. What about the date? Who knows what today's date is? Mm-hmm. Well, you can't know what the date is without math because the date is a number. So mathematicians, people who love math, that's you and me now, we always prove our work. So let's prove it. Parents, we need your help. Can we use your fingers? Would you put up one finger for each time we clap for Miss Win C? That's right. Parents, this supports a skill called one-to-one -one correspondence. All right, if you guys are ready, get your clappers out. All right? And parents, you're going to put up one finger for each time we clap for Miss Win C. Everybody ready? Clap it out. Here we go. Miss Win C. Good job. How many fingers do you see up for Miss Win C? Very good. That's the skill called one-to-one -one correspondence. You guys are mathematicians, and I'm so proud of you. Give yourselves a big round of applause. I know we did something second, and we did something third, and we will stomp it out and snap it out when I see you again. But in addition to math, I love music. Who loves music? <gasps> me too. I have a favorite song that I love to sing and I'm gonna ask you guys to help me with it. If you have an instrument there at home, a pot, a pan, a spoon, or your hands, you can join my band and keep the steady beat while we sing our hello song together. Parents, would you help me? Keep a steady beat. Keep a steady beat. Steady beat is very closely related to reading, parents. Practicing steady beat with your little ones will make reading easier for your scholar. Are you guys ready? Match my tempo. That's the speed of the song. You ready? Match my tempo. That's the speed. Here we go. Sing with me. Miss Wincy's here, so let's have a good time. Learn, explore, to see what we can find fun and games are leading the way to make it 
a great day. Great job. You guys did an awesome job. Thank you, parents, for keeping the steady beat. I noticed that some of you didn't have instruments, but you clapped your hands. And that's just as good for keeping a steady beat. Hey, I just had an idea. Why don't we make instruments? That way, you can play them every time you come visit me at the Wincy Co. Workshop. I know you can do it. Do you know how I know? Because my favorite book, the Bible, says that we can do anything we need to do with the help of God. And maybe a little help from our parents. Parents, will you help too? Great. We're going to need some supplies. Hmm. You'll see that you already have all the seeds inside of you to be great. To be great inventors. Inventors are people who make things. You just have to water those seeds a little. That's right. How do you water those seeds? Well, we water our seeds of greatness by trying, practicing, and never giving up. That's right. Try, practice, and never give up. Say it with me. Try, practice, and never give up. One more time. Try, practice, and never give up. You know, our ancestors, the people who lived before us, were brilliant scientists who invented things that we still use today. In fact, if you'll help me count to five, I'll see if I can turn myself into a cartoon hmm, and show you some of the things that were made by our African and African-American ancestors, or what we call a black man. Can you help me count? Count one, two, three, four, five. You're great at counting. Can we do it again? Let's do it again. This time, when we get to five, I'm going to start naming a bunch of the things that were made by a black man. Let's try it. I'll say, made, you say, by a black man. That's great. Today, you're Wincy Co. musicians or Wincy Co. music scholars. All right. I'm going to start with the super soaker water gun that, you know, those big water guns where you spray somebody one time and you soak them. That's right. That was made by a black man. Ready? You count me off. I'm going to run a bunch of things down. Remember, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. We've got the super soaker, the almanac. The kitchen table and the bottle cap, electric lamp, cold rack, cellular phone, hand stamp, the printing press, oil stove, sugar crystal in the toilet bowl. And everybody ought to know this. Don't you want to know this? We've got the wagon, the cotton chopper, the ticket machine, and the door stopper. Shampoo, headrest, animal trap, library table, thermostat, the fire escape. The fire extinguisher, the lawn mower, the lemon squeezer. Everybody ought to know this, know this, know this. We've got the street sweeper, peanut butter, the rolling pin, the pencil sharpener, refrigerator, the lock, the riding saddle, and the mop, the mailbox, lunchbox, and the swing. Aren't you glad you know these things? Cause everybody. Great. And now you see how great our ancestors were. Because our ancestors were great inventors back then, and God is helping us now, all we need to do is try, practice, and never give up. Say it again. Try, practice, and never give up. One more time. Try, practice, and never give up. Great job. Great job. All right. What kind of instrument do you think we should make? Hmm, 
I hear all kinds of answers. What's that? Somebody said, guitar. I love the guitar. That's right. The guitar was made by a black man. Someone saying piano. I love the piano. I love the sound of the piano. Hmm, what's that? Tuba. Somebody said tuba. And someone, what? Someone said drum. I love all of those answers. You guys have great answers. Kiss your brains. That's where we keep all of our good information. And maybe we can make all of those instruments. But let's start with a drum. And let's make a certain kind of drum. You'll see that Miss Wincy has some drums here in her workshop. But today, I want to make a special kind of drum with you. I want to make a tubano. See it there? See the tubano? Say it again. Tubano. Yeah, that's a cool word, right? Now, we can make a tubano using things that we have right in our own houses. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a few days to collect the supplies that we need to make our tubano. So we'll make our instrument, our tubano, the next time we get together. Parents, here's where you come in. You're in charge of supplies. That's right. Big, important job, parents. You're in charge of supplies. Please empty a tubular container like the ones that contain oatmeal or cornmeal. Your little scholar will need tape or glue and colored or even plain paper. Construction paper or copy paper will work just fine. And then you, my little musician, should spend the week gathering all the items that you'd like to use to decorate your tubano. That's right, get all the things that you want to decorate. So get your crayons, your markers, feathers, cotton balls, pictures, anything you want to go on your drum. This is your tubano and I'm already proud of you. I know it's gonna be perfect. Well, that's all for today, but don't miss me next week right here on the Wincy Co. Workshop. Now let's sing our cool goodbye song. Miss Wincy played and we had a good time. Learned explore to see what we would find. Fun and games were leading the way. Now you have a great day. Now you have a great day. Miss Wincy played.